Hey guys, this is the Apple Age, and um, in this video, in this series of three parts or so, I will be showing you guys how you can create your website from scratch in Photoshop and then exporting it to Dreamweaver and afterwards uploading it to the web. So in the first part, I'll just be showing you guys the designing part in Photoshop. In the second part, we'll be moving over to Dreamweaver where we'll link up all the stuff in the website and then in the third part we're going to upload our website onto the internet so that other people can see it as well besides you. Um, so basically this is what I did uh, the other time when I was free in Photoshop and then I exported it over to Dreamweaver then uploaded it onto the web so this is what I came up with. Um, what you notice here is that there's a foreground as well as a background layer so um, one thing to note is that the background layer has to be a solid color. You can put a foreground layer if you want and you can just um, put a gradient or anything, it really doesn't matter as long as the background layer is a solid color. So basically you see in the PSD I have here that the background here is a solid color and the foreground here is actually um, it's a gradient. And um, so that's a thing. I mean, like you can't put a drop shadow either, as if you don't have a background layer, because um, you need a solid color so that when you're indicating the background layer, no, sorry, the background color in Dreamweaver, it's one single solid color. If not, it'll be a little bit more difficult to work with. So that's my advice: just use a solid color as your background color instead of a gradient or anything fancy like that. So um, now let's just get started on the design process. I'm going to put this as 1200 by 1050. And alright, let's just do... I'm not going to do anything fancy over here because I just want to make this tutorial quick. So I'm just going to put this as a black um, background and then I'm just gonna put in my logo, add some text to it just go it down uh, this isn't gonna be a fast process but it's pretty easy yeah you just have to follow the tutorial step by step and then you should be fine. So I'm just going to create three pages in my website. It's going to be home, about, and contact. So for home, I'm actually going to add a period behind this. And actually, I'm just going to leave this like that. So there's three pages, and I just want to make sure that they are aligned properly. So yeah, more or less. And this is it really for the basic template. And now we're going to just do the home page for this. Um, Alright, so on your desktop, just create a new folder and just call it website or something. And then in the website, you're going to create three folders. One is going to be PSDs, for you to put all your PSDs in. One's going to be um, whatever you want to title your website. So I'm just going to title mine the Apple H. And then one is going to be called Rollover. So I'm just going to save this as the basic template for now. And I'm going to save this in website and then in PSDs. So I'm just going to 
paste, copy and paste this like three times. And one's gonna be home page, one's gonna be the about page, and one's gonna be the contact page. Oops, I'm tired right. And so in the home page, I'm just gonna add a period to the home. Um, the home text here and put this in bold. If you don't have this panel thing here, you just go to window and check character. Then this will come up. So this will indicate that um, what I, the page I'm on is actually the home page. Now I'm gonna duplicate the about and the contact layers and rename them to about rollover and contact rollover. The reason being that um well basically you want this effect. So when you roll over the text it kind of shows that you are doing so. And for me I'm gonna indicate that you're mousing over that by using like the underline thing of its call and yeah I'll just hide those first because we don't really need it now and I'm gonna take all my um, video thumbnails from my YouTube channel and just put it in here so it'll be something like that and I'll do that at the text in and everything and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so I am back and I'm done with my homepage with all the um, videos and everything up as well as my about page where I just put in a bunch of random text. If you want to obtain this random text, it's actually used by a lot of designers to show what um, to put in what text where the text goes, you can actually visit this site lauremipson.net description below and yeah you can replace this with whatever text you want to use it instead for rather than Lorem Ipsum because it doesn't make sense or you can just write a whole life story there or something that doesn't really matter and then in the contact page um, I have the links to my email address, my twitter and my youtube channel and these are all manually typed out. If you want to look for more social media icons, found this website which in this particular blog post that has like 45 um, social media icon sets so I bet you can find something that you like from there. So I'll also put that in the link uh, in the description below. So um, for each of these pages I have also put like um, the current page in bold and with the period next to it and the other two pages I've also added the rollover um, layer and same goes with the contact page as well. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to put rulers all over the few pages and then we're going to slice them up. So um, before we put in the rulers we are going to and to to hide the original uh, original about and contact layers and bring in the about and contact rollover layers. Do the same thing for the about and the contact pages as well. And now I'm just gonna bring in the rulers. If you don't have this ruler marks at the side here, just go and press Command R if you're on Mac and Control R if you're on a PC. So you're just gonna slice them up and how you slice them up is basically just create a square around links around um things that you want to link up. So on my logo here I want to link my logo to the home page and I'm just gonna make a box over here. And do that as well for the pages. And the reason why um, 
I asked you guys to display the rollover layers instead of the original ones is because um, we're going to cut out the rollover layers instead of the original ones so that it won't be scaled up or down because we're just going to swap the images in Dreamweaver. So I'm just going to work on the rulers and I'll be back in a bit. Alright, so now when you put up all your rulers as such, um, you're going to take your crop tool, but right click on this and have your slice tool come up. So we're just going to slice the individual parts, starting with the home page. So for example, I'm going to slice out the Apple H logo so that I can link this to the home page later on, as well as the various buttons, the about page with the underline, contact page, It doesn't have to be accurate, but just don't leave anything out. That's the main um, thing you want to look out for. And I'm just gonna finish this real quick and I'll get back to you guys. I'll do this for the same for the about and the contact as well. Alright, so I'm done with slicing up all the parts of the page that I want to be clicked through. And um, now before we proceed to exporting this, I'm going to um, display the original about and contact um, buttons over here instead of the rover buttons so that this is displayed by default. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other two pages as well. So now that is done, and all I'm going to do now is go over to File and Save for Web. Now the quality you want, the format you want, will be in JPEG and quality at a hundred. And just leave the rest as it is. Click on Save, and now you're going to select HTML and images, and name this for the homepage index.html and leave the rest as the settings are here so I just saved it so now if you go into the folder that um, you're using to store all this images and index HTML in my case it's my the Apple H folder so I'm just gonna rename the images folder to images dash index now you see why I have to do this in a minute so do the same thing for the about page as well. I'll do the same basically for like every page. And this we can just leave as about.html. It doesn't really matter, only the home page one matters. You just save that. And now you see even the about um the HTML page it's also named images. So it would replace files if you didn't name this images dash index. So we're going to rename this to images-about as well. And I'm going to repeat the same process with the contact page again. And um, this is basically all of what you need to do. And actually you have the website here. After this, what you need to do is just bring it into Dreamweaver and do a bit of modifications and that's it. But um, before I conclude this video, we're going to export the rollover images. So what we're going to do, once again, is uncheck the, um, the original ones and show the hide the original ones and show the rollover buttons as such, like we did before. So, oops, um, you go to file and save for web, repeat the same process. 
and this time we're going to save it under roll over and we are going to just have an images folder and just save it now if you go over to rover you get this images folder you're just gonna name this as um, home and then in the about page repeat the same process save the web save it images only as well save it again in this about and same thing goes for the contact page now going to each of these folders I'm going to start off with the home page and I'm going to delete everything besides the other two pages um, the rollover buttons so I just delete everything else besides the about and the contact buttons which are the roll over um, the roll over self with the underlines and things I'll do the same for the about ones as well and the contact ones as well And now we have your roll of the images. We're just gonna keep this in here and they're gonna come in useful when we go and import them into Dreamweaver. So that will be in part two of um this series. So be sure to check it out. And I will see you guys in part two. Be sure to check that out because that is the crux of what is going on with this video. And if this video helped you, be sure to subscribe. And if you need, um, if you have any questions, feel free to just leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks for watching, guys. See ya.